Hey guys, welcome to the video. This is Ryan Knows Tech with TechInform.us. I've got three quick videos for you today on the national holiday of WWDC or Worldwide Developers Conference 2011. Today's Monday, June 6th, 2011. And uh, we're going to be talking about the three major things that Apple did in today's uh, event. I have not watched the event yet. I don't even think it's on Apple's page yet as I'm here and I don't see it uh, right now anyways. But the event should be up later today, the, the 6th or tomorrow or sometime in the near future. Uh, one of the first things they talked about was OS Lion, the next version of Mac OS X. It's going to be 10.7. Uh, I'm, I'm going to make these, these videos quick. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time. If you want to read all the specifics, head on over to apple.com slash macOSX in this case to, uh, to read about Lion. Pretty much the world's most advanced desktop computer operating system advances even further. If Microsoft were saying it'd be BS, but with Apple, we know it's true. That was a fanboy statement. But anyways, I've used the developer preview, at least developer preview one. Developer preview two is out. I think three is out today. It could even be four. But it's got some pretty sweet new features. You've got mission control, better management. It's just a better operating system than Snow Leopard. And it's, we're we'll talking about the price in a minute. That's very affordable well, for most of us. So uh, Launchpad, that's one of the things. All your apps in one place, pretty much on your trackpad or your magic trackpad, if you were foolish enough to buy one, you can take it and go like this and pinch the center and you get a launch pad of all your different applications that you have on your Mac. That makes it really easy to open stuff. I've used it before. It's not a groundbreaking feature, but it is nice to be able to get to some things. Full screen applications. They're saying this is incredible on laptops. I had it. I used it. It was nice. I have a 13-inch display. Maybe it's the 11-inch MacBook Air they're talking about with full screen apps. But uh, a lot of the full screen applications, um, well, you know, you just get bigger bigger space and more screen real estate to work with stuff. The Mac App Store, that's one of the things we got in, I believe, OS 10.6.6. I've had it, I've used it, same icon, um, pretty much the same thing, except, of course, it's going to be built in to OS 10.7 um, stock, so that's all there. And uh, we'll be talking more about that in a second. Mission Control, I mentioned this before. Uh, right now, you do four fingers down. I think it's called Expose. It's a nice feature, but this is much better than that. It puts your desktop, it shrinks that back, as you can see from the big picture here. It organizes your stuff. You can create spaces and move stuff around. It's really cool. It's really easy. I have not had a chance to play with the new version of Mission Control, but I know the original one I tried in Developer uh, Preview, or Beta Developer Preview 1 was really cool. Mail, they've changed this. It looks more like the iPad. You've got some columns, controls up top. It's a lot easier. I didn't really use Mail in Snow Leopard, but if they had support for Yahoo Webmail, I don't know if they do. Brownie points to whoever can tell me that down below. Uh, maybe I'll start using Mail. Just a tuned interface. It's better. It's got some cool features. Uh, I know they have security within iOS 5. That's the next video that I'll be making tonight. Um, but you can read more about it on the site. And then multi-touch gestures. Uh, we've kind of seen that on the iPad if you got the developer preview of iOS 4.3.3, I believe, and enabled those features from the provisioning portal or, or the, um, the specs within the developer center. But, uh, you know, it's easier. Right now we kind of have some pinch to zoom and three fingers back and three fingers forward and down to scroll and stuff like that. But they've made it better, and the trackpads are so big on these MacBooks, it's just really easy to do. So those are just like six or seven features out of, I think there's 250 here. Yeah, 250 new features they've added. Of course, we won't use 20% of those, but I mean address book, we've got a new look. AirDrop, that's pretty cool. We can do uh, wire wireless drag and drop file sharing over the network. Apple script for you nerds. Auto save, this is really big. Um, Microsoft has had this for years. Apple needs to play catch up with that one. Go into pages, numbers, keynote, it crashes, you kill it, uh, run out of battery or something, and auto saves as you go. So that's pretty cool. Head automator, electronic distribution. Uh, that's actually how they're going to be selling this. You cannot go to the store and buy it on a DVD, a flash drive, nothing like that. It's right from the Mac App Store, which is incredibly easy. Open it up, it's $29 dollars and 99 cents the same price as snow leopard which is an incredible price don't you think Kenneth? incredible price for for lion there yeah, it is it's it's a great price for as much uh most of you probably didn't even know he's there but it's a great price for most of the features that um that you're going to be getting in an operating system like this so download it it's four gigs 29 bucks put it on all your macs it's great put it on all the authorized computers that you have with your uh, apple store account or your apple account File Vault, you got full disk encryption if you really think you need that. FaceTime, that's built in, no longer an update like it was with Snow Leopard. And uh, I think they've tuned Finder a little bit. I, I remember looking at that um, 
in the developer preview and thinking it looked a little bit better. iCal, iChat, I mean, I could go on for days about how they have changed stuff here and made it better. It, it is definitely a worthwhile upgrade. With Windows, you're facing a few hundred dollars to upgrade. And there are a lot of nice compelling features, like from Vista to 7, that was a must have. From XP to Vista, for some people, that was that was necessary. But um, with OS X, it's $29. so. It's really worth an upgrade for as much stuff as you get for that low price. So uh, when is it going to be here? According to what Apple said in the keynote today and what they have on their site, it is coming in July, which is not bad. That's about a month. It'll probably be mid to late July, knowing Apple. Who knows? I, I doubt they'll be too late on it. But it's going to be really easy. Just update to the latest version of Snow Leopard, open the App Store, and download it and install it from there. It's going to be a really simple install. Four gigs may take a while to download but uh, definitely worth it at that point. So we'll have some more videos to come in July when I get Lion, and um, I'll give you a little tour then. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Our website is techinform.us. I don't think we've covered a whole lot of this content yet, but I'm sure we will in the future. My Twitter is twitter.com slash jamesrschultz, and then Tuesday nights, next Tuesday, Colt is hosting, by the way, Colt459595, link is down below, on ustream.tv slash users slash techinformus. Again, that's 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern Time on Tuesdays. So I'll talk to you guys there or in the next video that I will start recording in five minutes. Thanks for watching this one. Bye.